Let's take a look at this problem where we're given that big F of 4 is 10, big F of 9 is negative 9, and we've defined F, big F prime of x to equal little f of x. All right, so this is really fundamental theorem of calculus. What we do is when we integrate here, we're going to use the antiderivative of little f, or that turns out being just big F. What we'll do is we'll evaluate this first at the upper bound of integration, so the 9, the top number. Then we subtract away the antiderivative at the lower bound of integration, so at 4. So big F of 9 minus big F of 4. Now based on the information that's been given to us, we'd want to fill in the right-hand side. So basically big F of 9 can be replaced with negative 9 from the right-hand side here minus big F of 4 is equal to 10. So negative 9 minus 10. Combine these together, we get negative 19 for our overall, overall answer. Very similarly, on this bottom one, defined to be the same way, our bounds of integration are a little bit different, but let's set it up. It's going to be big F of the upper bound, and I know it feels wrong that 3 is a smaller number that, than 10, but that comes that goes as our upper bound, so you're going to fill that in first, minus big F of 10. Then we just fill in with the right-hand side. So big F of 3 equals negative 1, minus big F of 10 equals 5. So negative 1 minus 5 more works out to be negative 6, and that's our overall answer. Hope this helps out. Good luck getting down the um, fundamental theorem of calculus.